Hello everyone and welcome to New Hope Art Gallery's video artist series. Uh, today we are talking with a very nervous super cooler. Welcome Sue. How are you? I'm good. Sue's been showing with us for a few shows. She actually had her first show at our last location at the uh, Rhode Island Training School. And now we're located at the uh, Cranston Senior and Richmond Center on Cranston Street in Cranston. And it's a much larger space, and uh, most of our artists have transferred over with us. And so we're going to get to know her a little bit. So tell us about yourself and, you know, your, your general history and how you started with, with your art. Um, I'm a retired pediatrician, and I started taking art classes at the Handicraft Club uh, about two years ago. And uh, I started with drawing with Ida Schmulowitz. Oh, Ida's wonderful. I know Ida. Wonderful is. teacher. Absolutely. And part of our drawing class uh, involved doing some ink um, with, the, with the drawing. And that's what this picture is all about. It's uh, basically charcoal with ink. Oh, nice. So, um, so was, she, was there like a display set up of, yes. of fruit? She, Yes. And vegetables. Uh, in general, for our classes, she would set up a uh, still life that we would then uh, interpret as your own. Absolutely. That's fine. Totally it's fun to do, isn't it? As yeah. Our own. Well, that's good. Yes. That's nice when a teacher lets you sort of, you know, uh, do your own thing and kind of go with the flow. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's so. I mean, it's so much fun. Um, and I just, I, I never did much art work as a young person, uh -huh. um, so this is all new to me, and it's just so much fun. Good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, most, I find most people that I know now either, st like I started very young, but then life gets busy and it gets right. put to the side, Absolutely. and then as we get older, then we start to enjoy it again. So right. it's, we're, we're, we're had to ha glad to have you part of our gallery because that's what a big part of the gallery is, <laughs> mission of getting everyone creating art and showing their art. Um, so let's walk down this way a little okay. bit. I'll follow you and we'll sort of get an idea of more art showing in the gallery. But Sue also has a few other pieces with us. And we're going to kind of work our way over to that area. And we can sort of discuss um, some of her work. I believe you have a nice landscape coming up and let's head down to this one here oh, over here we'll get a look at this one here I love this one oh. um, this uh, is this is a beautiful piece and so thank you. Um, th was this the idea because I know Barbara does some some uh, pieces involving looking out windows so was this also with Ida's class absolutely this was another um, charcoal with ink and it's looking out the window of the handicraft club over at a building on uh, Benefit Street. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that that's where it was. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. Oh, it and is. now, how <laughs> long is this something that's done in one class, or yes, just? Yes, it's a three-hour class. Oh, okay. And this is a Great. piece that was done within that class time, and so. And so she it's she as have a cutoff as it can be for in the three hours. hours, and then you're done. You're not allowed to. Done. And we're not allowed to touch it. Oh, that's no tough. No touching after. And right. well, I gotta say that's pretty amazing. That that would be more than I would probably get done in three hours because I tend to work slow. Oh, um, but that's part of the fun of the whole thing. Is the pressure doing it quickly under pressure, trying to get the best possible product that you can? And now, what media is this? This is again. This is charcoal with ink. Okay. You, now, is that your? Do, are you branching out a little bit more on what you're working in, or is well, it? Well, I've also done some uh, painting with acrylics again with Ida, and mm -hmm. the next thing that you'll see is. Um, uh, uh, an acrylic painting, okay, and that's... then I'm going to start a class in watercolors. Oh, uh, good. Tomorrow, as good. a matter of fact. And that's also with Ida as well. No, no that's um, Richard Mathis, maybe. Oh, okay. At the handicraft. Good. So that should be interesting. Yeah. Um, it, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, the one nice thing about Ida's teaching is that she's very respectful of the people who are taking the classes, and really just allows us to. Uh, interpret whatever we're doing in our own way. She doesn't give us a lot of guidance. Uh -huh. She just sort of sets something out there 
you and know, allows just, you to go with the flow. That's nice. Right. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to. Actually, that's so much more fun because um, that way you can really. You're do doing your, your own, own pieces Absolutely. opposed to and, theirs. And we all do paint the same thing, and the picture comes all out amazing. So much different. Yeah. Um, well, that's what's so nice about it. Yeah. Every well. Um, and uh, so now, did you on this piece? Do you do your window frame first, and then do the background, or how, is there a certain? How do you do it? Um, I mean, that's how I do it. I, you do window I have first. To sort of have some sort of framing for uh -huh. where I'm going to put things and how it's going to work. Uh, the ink is not very forgiving, though, so you know whatever you put down stays there forever. It's not like it's, acrylic; you can't you can get kinda, over it. Yeah. Um, so it's. And would Pretty the ink much. be just the, the most, is it just black ink or are you using no, different colored ink? colored ink? This is, and some of them, and I mix the colors of ink together nice. know, to make the different colors. Really beautiful. Lots Thank of, you. Lots of wonderful detail. And yeah, I imagine the ink has got to kind of has a mind of its own once it hits the paper. <laughs> and it's like, oh boy, I wasn't really thinking it was going to do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and does she have a specific type of paper you have to work on, or is it just a regular kind of, you know, whatever you bring along? You don't, you, I, I don't think do this is just uh, drawing paper. Yeah, cool. Well, I think that makes it, yeah, I'm sure you, you probably, you know, learn as you go. I learned from doing that and don't like it, but I think it looks really, really fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. And so um, let's head down this way, and uh, we have one more piece of yours that's and again like you said this is on a canvas this piece here this is canvas and now this is downtown uh, so uh, this is a view of downtown from Prospect Park. Beautiful. Uh, really, really nice. A beautiful nice. summer day. Yes. And uh, it was uh, great fun Good. being outside uh, painting this. We had lots of uh, people walking by asking us what we were doing while we were painting. Uh huh. So that was fun. And um, so this is my interpretation of downtown. Of downtown. And the Good. Colors, uh, Beautiful. Very nice. All see. those all those windows make you crazy, huh? People are doing, oh, that's a lot of windows. Well. Yeah, good for you. And just quickly, this is sort of a little, there's a classroom going on in the classroom now. Yeah, that's a little bit of the noise you hear in the background. Um, and we'll be showing their work in future shows. Uh, the seniors are here now taking some different classes, so it's... Um, we're going to be expanding out on the shows, and um, this is just the remainder of upstairs. Um, and so Sue's going to be in our November show, and you're going to start working on some bigger pieces for us, I hope, Absolutely. on canvas. And, well, some smaller pieces for watercolors. Yeah, the watercolors, so yeah, the watercolors smaller. have to be, yeah, because they, they need to be framed. Watercolors always have to be framed, but... The acrylics, certainly, we're thinking, like, maybe a nice 14-foot by 28-foot painting. We'll have you paint it here. As she looks hysterically laughing, like, he's got to be kidding me. I know he absolutely, is. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, but we're going bigger. We're getting everyone to try to paint at least one bigger piece, so that way we can sort of um, spread people's work, because the spots downstairs are much larger, so we're trying to get somebody to have work downstairs as well as up. So. Okay, um, so bigger. Bigger, yeah, bigger and smaller. We'll have you all over the place. So, okay. but we're glad you're here with us, and you're going to keep showing with us. Absolutely. And we're glad that you. I'm glad I talked you into doing your vid. This video is as nervous as you were. So, thanks for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, bye now. Have bye. a good day.